As we talk about joy over fear, I want to encourage you today in the book of Psalms to read Psalm 32. It's only 11 verses long, and I want to give you a little background before I share the verse of the day. Uh, at the time when most of the Psalms were written, think about 2,500 years ago, and isn't it remarkable to think when we turn in our Bibles to the book of Psalms, we're reading things that people wrote. 2,500 years ago, and Psalm 32 is a psalm of thanksgiving for healing. And there was a sense that people had back in that time that uh, illness was a sign of sin. At least that's how some people would look at it. So if someone was really sick and not doing well, they was this thought, well, they must have sinned or done something wrong. And healing was often seen as a sign that God had forgiven the person who had been afflicted because of something they had done wrong. Now in the Bible, we know that theologically there's progression from that perspective. Uh, and we see, for example, in John chapter 9 with the man born blind, that the disciples are still operating with this old understanding, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind. And Jesus tries to elevate their thinking to make it clear that it's not necessarily because someone sinned that they're sick or ill. Uh, and I'm sure that's comforting to those of us when we are sick or ill. It's not necessarily that God is punishing us for something we did wrong. So I know that's kind of extensive background, but it's important to understand. That being said, in Psalm 32, in, verses, in verse 5 especially, it talks about, I acknowledge my sin to you. I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. It is true that when we have done something wrong, and we know it, and we don't acknowledge it, we don't confess it to God, we don't confess to the person we've hurt or wronged, there often are physical impacts of that. We don't feel as well. We, our blood pressure may be elevated. We may feel a sense of stress. We may not sleep as well. And Psalm 32 goes on, verses uh, 6 on, or the psalmist encouraging the congregation to place their trust in God and to pray to God and that God will instruct us and teach us in the way that we should go. And it ends with the verse for the day. I was getting there, which is verse 11. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Be glad in the Lord, rejoice, shout for joy. Uh, these are the responses that we are to offer and we are to have when God has blessed and healed and touched our lives in ways for which we are grateful. Uh, there is an exuberance at the end of verse 32, uh, at the end of Psalm 32, uh, of gladness and rejoicing and joy. And especially as we get day by day closer to Christmas, which is almost right around the corner now, less than a week away, joy is definitely part of the season.